In this video, I'm going to show you how to add product filters onto your online store. And this is what we'll achieve by the end of this tutorial. Now, if users come here and try to filter by men, which is categories, they will be presented with all products related to men. They can also filter by brand. Maybe I want to choose Puma. And I'll be giving the products accordingly. I can also filter by color. I choose white. I'll be given only two products and finally I can filter by size maybe this and I'll be presented with all the parameters I've selected if I want to reset it I'll just click on reset all to take it back to default so if you like what you have seen and you want to add product filters to your online store keep watching hello guys this is Swadik here at Digo Pages web where I do web tutorials just like this one so if you are new here consider subscribing that said let's jump into the video to get started you need to make sure that you have all the parameters like I have here first of all you need to have categories for your online store and you also need attributes like brand color size and what have you now if I go to the back end of the website where I want to add the product filters take note of the url of this website it is set to shoes.decoupagesweb.com that is the demo website i'm trying to copy from now if i go to the back end of the website i want to add it it is set to sneakers.decoupagesweb.com so now if i go to products and click on categories you will notice that i have about four categories if i go over to attributes you see that I have three attributes and I have terms under each one of them. So for brand, these are the terms. For color, I have some color sets and then size, I have some sizes set. So you want to make sure that you have all your attributes and categories intact. So if I go to the front end of the website where I want to add a take note, it's set to sneakers.decoupagesweb.com. I go to the products page. At the moment this is how our filters will look like so to achieve this filter we are going to install a plugin to do that we go to the back end of our website then we hover on plugins click on add new and the set plugins i search for filter everything and this is the plugin we are going to use that is filter everything product filter and wordpress filter i click on install now it is installed i activate the plugin is installed and activated successfully going down you see filters right here at the side menu so i just hover on it then i click on add new i'll give it a title i'll just call it product filters Or product filter whichever way you want going down under post type to filter drop down the arrow and choose products next we go ahead and add our first filter under filter by i drop down the arrow and first of all i'm going to choose product categories take note we have categories and then product categories you want to select product categories the filter title is going to be categories next we have variable name for url here i enter category in small letters this is what will show in your address bar when you say search by this filter going down we add a new filter meanwhile you can collapse this so that you have clean dashboard to work with so i filter by maybe i get inspiration from the demo website so the next one is going to be price going back and this time around i'm going to choose custom fields and i will use custom field numeric next is meta key i enter price in small letters filter title is going to be price and this is what we show in the front end so you want to make the first letter capital and variable name for url i enter price this is what will be displayed in the address bar when you say search by this filter going down 
is going to be in range so that they can search from one particular price to the other that is from minimum to highest i can collapse this then i add a new filter this time around i'm going to add brand going back i drop down the arrow and the filter then i choose product brand the filter title is going to be brand van name for url i enter brand in small letters and view in widgets i'll leave it as checkboxes just as we have here so that users will be able to select more than one brand going back we can collapse this then we add another filter and the filter by we filter by product color the filter title is going to be color van name is going to be color in small letters and it's also going to be checkboxes i collapse this then i add my final filter filter by is going to be size that is product size filter title i enter size and then van name for url is size in small letters i collapse this Take note, after adding them, you can rearrange them just the way you want, like this. But I prefer to have something like this. Then I go ahead and publish. Now, if we go to the front end of our website and refresh, you are not going to see any change. So what we need to do is customize the website so that we'll be able to remove this and add the new filter. To do that, I click on Customize. It will be important to be on the product page so that you see everything in action when you are applying it. From here, I scroll down to widgets. Then I click on WooCommerce sidebar. I click on got it. At the moment, this is what we are having. So what I can do is this is the price filter right here. I just select it. Then I click on the three dots icon delete. Maybe I'll keep top rated products. It doesn't really matter. Then I scroll to the bottom, click on the plus icon to add a new block, and I'll search for filter everything. Take note, you see three different widgets, and this is the one you want to use, filter everything filters. I click on it, and it is added. Now if I scroll down, you see it at the bottom. We don't want it to be at the bottom, so it's still selected. I just click on the up arrow here to move it up. Now, if we scroll up, you now see it on top. Awesome. Now, if you look at it, let me hide this. You see that there's no background color on the sidebar, just as I am having. It doesn't really matter. This is just an addition. So let me go ahead and apply that. To do that, I go back, back. Then I scroll up, click on sidebar. At the moment, I'm using type 1. Take note, I'm using the Bloxy team. Whatever team you are using, it will look different. So I'll change it to type 2. Next, I go over to design. And this way, I change the background color. Just click on it. Then I'll go ahead and use this. Perfect. Now, let's see how it will look on mobile and tablets. So if I select mobile right here, scrolling down, you don't see it anywhere. So let me go ahead and enable it. To do that, I go back to general, going down, and the sidebar visibility, you see that desktop is enabled. So I enable it for tablet as well as mobile. Mobile sidebar position, at the moment it is set to bottom. So if I scroll down, you see it at the bottom. I can use top if I want, and you see it at top. Awesome. One thing you will notice about the filter is that it's too long or it's a bit long so what we can do is go back to filter everything and the filters we have settings i will open that in a new tab under general we have mobile devices and this is where you can collapse it for mobile devices so all you need to do is make sure this checkbox is selected then you go ahead and save the changes I can exit from here. So if I go back to the team customizer and publish my work, I reload it. I just want to see it in action. 
I go to mobile mode and you see that it's not collapsed. So users can easily click on it to expand the filters. Perfect. So all is set. I exit from here. Now, if I select the main category going down, you will notice that under brand, some of the brands are having numbers attached to them. Others don't have. And what this means is that for Nike, we have one product as the brand. Adidas, we don't have any products. For size, we have everything. Going down, under color, you see that we don't have pink color for main category. Now, let me change to another category. I'll untick main. Then I'll go ahead and select maybe kids. Going down. You see that we have a whole lot of empty filters for colors as well as size. So let's go ahead and fix this so that anytime a particular category is being selected or a particular filter is being selected, wherever we have zero value will not be displayed at the front end of our website. To achieve this, we go to the back end, then scrolling down under empty terms. At the moment, it is set to never hide. I drop down the arrow and I choose always hide. Going up, I click on update. Now, if I go back to the front page and refresh, you notice that KISS is still selected. But if we go over to brand, it will set to only the brands that are available for KISS. Size is also set as well as color. So we don't have the particular parameters that are having zero values. And this is kind of cool. And that's it on how we add product filters onto the shop page of our online store. Now, if you want to learn how to create filters for your blog post, make sure you stick around to watch this video on your screen right now.